that might come as shock for a lot of people, but I enjoy pro wrestling. This is actually the second time I record this video and I should record it one more time because I'm mentioning a lot pro wrestling, but when I say pro wrestling, I mean the sports entertainment pro wrestling, not, not anything else. And before this video begins, I just want to say that I'm not a Wikipedia, I'm just a pro wrestling fan and I'm just gonna tell you why I enjoy wrestling and why you might enjoy wrestling as well. So what is wrestling? There is wrestling, there is pro wrestling, we're here to talk about pro wrestling. Wrestling is, according to Wikipedia, wrestling is a combat sport involving grappling type techniques such as clutch, clinch, fight, throws, takedowns, joint, anyway. We're not talking about wrestling, we're talking about pro wrestling. The thing that you remember that you watched as a kid on TV. I'm talking about Undertaker, Rey Mysterio, Kane, Edge, whatever. You, you probably remember that. Every freaking night you were watching it as a kid just because there was nothing else good to watch. And uh, you were seeing people uh, fighting with chairs, all that kind of jazz. What is pro wrestling when i so say pro wrestling oh that video i'm gonna be focused on wwe because to be honest i don't enjoy the other promotions that much i don't know why probably because of the superstars or the high production value of wwe i just enjoy wwe the most from all the other promotions so you have wwe you have three brands you have raw smackdown and nxt and each at Actually, wrestling promotion is having ring, referee, crowd, commentary, wrestlers, some beef between them, probably. And the thing about pro wrestling is that it's just a fight for now. Let's take it as a fight, like two sweaty guys or more. It can be up to 30 guys, it can be even 50 guys if they decide to. There are just different names of the matches. They're fighting. They're doing everything they can to take each other down, pin them, or whatever the rude match is. Basically, that's it. Not very much different from what you remember as a kid, but I'm gonna explain how and why I started watching WWE again. This is not that important to explain, but it's add up, it adds up to the whole story why I started watching again and why I still watch it to this day. I started in 2018, before two years, with the words, what is happening with that shtick? Because I remember that I was watching it with my dad when I was a kid. So I started searching on the internet about clips from these days and I accidentally found clips from superstars that I enjoyed back from the day and they're still not retired. Yeah, a lot of them are retired because 10 years have passed or more, but some of them were still not retired and I was wondering what the flip is going on here. And I started watching and I was invested in it. In 2018, uh, the thing was, there were still two brands in WWE, only Raw and SmackDown, and NXT was like that developmental brand. And I slowly started watching Raw, started, uh, slowly started watching it only because of the old superstars, because I was only interested in them, but because of the fact that there is something called storyline that we're gonna go into it later, I got to know more of the superstars that are now in the roster. <laughs> So I started watching more and more and more and I got so invested. Yeah, that's why I started watching wrestling. Just want to hit two notes here. From that whole story, probably you now understand why I watch only WWE. It's because I have a bond with certain superstars. And before someone in the comments say, you can build bond if you watch New Japan or AEW. I tried. Sorry, I tried. It doesn't work that well. I don't understand why it just doesn't work that well. Learn something New Japan or AEW to build your superstars, please. I, I would enjoy to watch something else as well. Because WWE is not the greatest product. I admit it, it's not the greatest product. But for me, it works, it's appealing. Second thing I want to mention is that uh, while I was watching that whole thing again as an adult, you see it is in a different uh, is a different thing as a kid, and when you 
when you have seen WWE or pro wrestling as a kid, you're so judgmental to it when you were an adult. The only thing that you remember uh, that you watched as a kid is a fake fight. So the thing I want to say next is the stuff you have missed. So pro wrestling is not a lot deeper that you remember, but it have it has some depth to it that you might have missed throughout the years let's start with that you're watching series and movies right it's the same freaking thing it's the same freaking thing as watching series or movies every feud starts with some sort of storyline and sometimes the storyline ends it at the nearest pay-per-view event or sometimes it it is extended to a year or four years or whatever it's a long storyline because you're invested in these two or more superstars and you're interested to see what is gonna happen and you're tuning in week to week just to see what is gonna happen another point i want to bring in is yes they're fake fighting but not exactly yes the the, the matches are booked in order to bring that storyline ending that is intended by the writers in the back but you cannot admit that a lot of these moves hurt i mean try it yourself and you're gonna see that a lot of these moves hurt and sometimes they they hurt themselves while while they're doing it but it doesn't matter in my book because these guys are putting their goddamn bodies on the line in order to entertain us so it doesn't matter for me if it hurts if it doesn't hurt or whatever most of the time they get injured and there have been circumstances in the past that they that these superstars have injured themselves so bad that they should retire so it fucking hurts another point is that they're freaking athletes like you cannot admit that they sometimes do beautiful things behind the ropes for example the leaps from the top ropes or whatever how can you see that move and and not appreciate it how that's one of the reasons why i enjoy pro wrestling the last point probably that it's not valid for a lot of you but it's valid for me because it's motivational look at their body most of the time these guys are in good or top shape and you cannot just miss that because these guys are constantly on the road and they find time to care about their bodies and before you say that's their job and shit like that even if it's your job try to train every day i'm doing that and look at my body it doesn't look like anything close to that so i appreciate these guys and the work they're putting in it it's motivating me what is the conclusion about all of that i don't know i just wanted to share that i like pro wrestling because in the last two years when i shared with someone that i like pro wrestling they're like you like these guys that are fake fighting? Shut the fuck up. It, it's not like that. And my point is, don't be afraid to share to anyone that you like pro wrestling. It's cool. And for the, someone who is not watching pro wrestling and someone tells you that they watch pro wrestling, don't be judgmental asshole to them. You can just either say, okay, cool, or ask them more about it. You might know more about that person if you dig deep into the topic you never know thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my talk i'm not sure if i'm gonna do videos like that in the future that i'm gonna talk about stuff but comment down if you want to see more videos that i talk about stuff there will be zero comments anyway thank you guys so much for watching leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye that was the most cringy ending ever like someone should have stopped me jesus